to that horrific story out of D.C., a carjacking that left a delivery driver there dead. But now two teenage girls, ages 15 and 13, have been charged with assaulting him with a stun gun, leading to the crash that killed him. A lot of questions being asked now, including if services like Uber Eats need to do more to protect drivers. Our Ariel Reshef joins us now with the very latest. Good morning, Ariel. Good morning to you, TJ. That deadly attack on a 66-year-old Uber Eats driver happened in broad daylight, 4.30 p.m. as he was trying to deliver food. Those two teen suspects arrested in a shocking and senseless crime. This morning, two teenage girls arrested, charged with felony murder and armed carjacking after police say they violently attacked and killed an Uber Eats driver in Washington, D.C. Police say the suspects, just 13 and 15 years old, were in the process of trying to steal 66-year-old Mohammed Anwar's car when one of them used a taser on him as they tried to speed off, which police say led to the deadly car crash, the car flipping over, Anwar ejected. He was rushed to the hospital with life-threatening injuries but did not survive. The teens arrested at the scene. Anwar's loved ones calling the sudden loss immeasurable, telling ABC News the father of three and grandfather of four moved to the U.S. from Pakistan in 2014 to build a better life for himself and his family. It's more than tragic. I don't even know if that, that word um, describes what happened. It's senseless. Police say they've seen a spike in carjackings in Washington, D.C. and in several other major cities since the pandemic began. In 2020, 345 carjackings were reported in the nation's capital, more than double the year before. The city launching a task force just last month to help focus on these incidents. Because it's very important uh, that we find out the people who are responsible for, for these carjackings uh, and that that, that we have justice. Uber drivers nationwide have been on alert after a string of attacks. <laughs> Earlier this month, a San Francisco Uber driver was assaulted and taunted by belligerent passengers, authorities arresting one of the passengers and charging another with attempted robbery and assault. Uber now teaming up with law enforcement who are available to work with police 24 hours a day to respond to urgent calls. The company telling ABC News, we are devastated by this tragic news and our hearts go out to Mohammed's family during this difficult time. And Uber says that it is grateful these suspects were arrested. Police not releasing their identities because they are juveniles. Both teens have pleaded not involved, which is the adult equivalent of not guilty. TJ. All right, Ariel Resha for us. Thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.